Hello, West Seattle community. This is a video about how to use Microsoft and OneDrive to share folders amongst students and also to get that to their teachers. All right, so say you have something you want to do that your teacher has assigned and they want you to like create a collaborative document between a bunch of students. So the first thing you would need to do is get the document. Um, sometimes the teacher may just want you to make your own document and share it amongst yourselves. That's fine. That's easier. But I'm going to assume you don't want to do that. You actually want to share a, a particular document. So the first thing you would need to do is get the document. So in this case, I'm going to just use this as a random example. So you open it up. Uh, you're going to download the document either using this download button here or clicking on this they both do the same thing I'm gonna click the obvious thing that says download and you can see down here it downloaded it this would put the file in your downloads folder on your computer um, I'm not gonna bother to go to that but basically from there you would go to your OneDrive um, you need another tab open with your OneDrive and so in your OneDrive, you're going to look for your class folder, which you would have made in a foundations class. Uh, otherwise, you might want to, want to make a folder for the class you're in. So for instance, if you're in Mr. Barth's class, you'd make a folder for whatever class he's uh, using. And then in that folder, you would then uh, find, you know, I actually have multiple folders, but whatever. You'd get into the folder where you're going to do this thing. And then you would click Upload, and you would upload the file. And when you click upload the file, it'll open up a little pop-up window. One of those things will be downloads, and then you could actually upload the exact file. For the purposes of this video, I'm just going to use this file here that I already have. All right, so let's say I've uploaded the file I'm going to, I'm going to save, uh, or I'm going to share amongst other people. You might also need to create a new one if they don't actually give you, if your teacher doesn't give you a file that you're going to use. You might need to create a new Word doc or Excel or PowerPoint or whatever you're doing. But in this case, I'm just going to use this file and share it with some other students. All right, so you click on the file to open it. So there it was. I just clicked on it. It created a pop-up window. Here's the thing. So now I want to share this with some other students in my class, and therefore we can all work on the same exact document at the same time, and then turn that document into our teacher. All right. So the way to do that is as follows. Um, so I have the document open, but I, being the tech leader in my little team, the person who is the only student who is going to share this document out, because only one student needs to do this, because one student will make the file and then share it with the other people. So I've opened it, a copy of my own, and now, and you can see I put my name on it up here just to make sure it's not the the one that was like the original. Um, and you know maybe it'd have all the last names for the group, whatever. But now I'm going to share this with the other students in my group so we can all work on this. So the obvious thing to do is click this share button right here, share, and it brings up a little pop-up window. And then I just type in all the email addresses of all the students in my group. And the easiest way to get these email addresses, because that can take a long time, is simply in the Teams meeting you're in, just have everyone chat or put into the chat their email addresses. And then whoever made the file can just copy all those email addresses right here, one after another, and then click Send. And then that will create an email to everyone in the group that will allow them to click on the, the link that's in the email and therefore they can all get into this document, type on it, fill it out, get it all perfect, do whatever the teacher wants. And then when you're done with it, then the tricky part is, it's not really very tricky actually, it just depends on what the teacher wants. Um, there's a couple of ways you could get this to your teacher and your teacher will tell you which way you want to do it. One, you could upload the document, the, te the student who actually made it um, could upload the document to turnin.com. Um, sometimes you would do that if you're the teacher. Uh, the other thing you could do, and the way I usually do it, because it's the easiest thing, is when I'm doing the share, uh, like I just have my students share the, the thing with each other and then also me. So they just give me, uh, they just include me on the document in the period they make the document. So for instance, if uh, Mr. Barth, for example, were doing this, he would give them his email address and then the students would type in all their email addresses and Mr. Barth's address, click send, and then Mr. Barth, uh, the teacher, would get all of um, the made assignments in the same period. So they'd be in a nice little block together um, and he could then easily find them and grade them directly. Um, so that's how you would use a Word doc um, and the sharing button to have one lead student in a group create a document 
and then share it with everybody else, including the teacher, so that the teacher could see the group document and therefore everyone could collaborate and have a nice, interesting educational time. Hope that was helpful. Thanks.